Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is titled, The Cost of Discipleship. And Jesus said unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Matthew chapter 8, verse 20. In the context of this text, we see somebody who is trying to follow Jesus. In fact, the multitude came after him and some man came to him and said he wants to follow him wherever he goes. Let me read it in verse 19. Quote, And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. End of quote. He perhaps must have thought that following Jesus will give him some earthly rewards and will make him to be some really important person in society and all of that. They believe that time that Jesus was the Messiah and they also believe that when the Messiah comes, he's going to be the one to kick out the Romans, sit upon his throne. So everybody wants to be part of the government of the Messiah, so to speak. And they want to enjoy the worldly, even the disciples, the worldly goods that come with that. Even the disciples were deceived by that popular theology. After the death of Christ, even after his resurrection, they were still asking in Acts chapter 1 verse 6, if he will not restore the kingdom to Israel for such a time as this. And Jesus said it was not given to them to know the times of the kingdom. Now, let me read to you from the Desire of Ages, page 383. Quote, Multitudes who desire to exalt him to the throne today would turn from him tomorrow. The disappointment of their selfish ambition would turn their love to hatred and their praise to causes. From the first, he had held out to his followers no hope of earthly rewards. Of those now connected with him, there were many who had been attracted by the hope of a worldly kingdom. These must be undeceived. End of quote. What is making you to follow Jesus? There was a day I was in the hospital. A terrible situation happened. A woman lost her husband. She was crying and then she was saying she would never serve Jesus again. That She had trusted that Jesus would heal the husband. I sympathized with her. But the faith or the belief that when we have Jesus, we're not going to experience any traumatic, any bad experience. We're not going to see anything evil. It's not biblical at all. There will be good times and bad times. There will be times of disappointment and losses. But ultimately, Jesus has said that he would give us eternal life. And even in this world, he will not abandon us. But he did not promise us that we are going to be insulated from the trials of life. If you want to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, you need to follow him knowing that through much tribulation, as the Apostle Paul says, we must enter into the kingdom of God. God is calling you today to follow him from the right motive. And when you do, you're going to be blessed and you're going to be happy. And at last, you're going to have eternal life. Let us pray. Father, we give you glory. We worship you. We praise you. We pray that you will help us to understand what it means to be your follower. We know that even in times past, as it's going to be in the future, people died for you. They were willing to bear their cross. During the time of the Roman Empire, there were people who were thrown to animals because of their faith in you and they suffered gladly for you. And that 
is what Christianity is even till date. And so we pray that whatever be our lot, you will help us to bear it gladly if we bear it for you. We know that when the disciples were flogged because of you, the Bible says that they rejoiced and counted themselves happy, you know, worthy to suffer for your sake. We pray that you give us that kind of spirit and to forgive those who persecute us and to bless your holy name. Give us the grace to forge on and to follow you to the end. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.